to join Joan London and Alan Beck, along with Regis Philbin, as they bring you all of the springtime fun of a Disney Easter. Take a sneak peek at Mickey's 60th birthday party. Journey to Norway for a thrilling adventure into the World Showcase's newest pavilion. And go behind the scenes at the Disney MGM Studios for some movie magic. Love is in the air when Minnie and Mickey star in their own music video. The characters step out in style at the fantastic new Grand Floridian Beach Resort. And Illuminations, Epcot Center's new nighttime extravaganza lights up the sky. All this and more is on its way. Disney World Happy Easter Parade, brought to you by Premier Cruise Lines, the official cruise lines of Walt Disney World, bringing you the cruise and Walt Disney World Week, and the Kissimmee St. Cloud Resort area. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, it's the best place to stay when you're visiting Central Florida. Stay with us for all of the excitement of the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. We'll be right back. Cruise Line of Walt Disney World brings you the cruise that comes with a Walt Disney World vacation free. Three full days include hotel, rental car, and admission to it all with a luxury four-night cruise to the Bahamas from Central Florida. Ask your travel agent about Premier Cruise Line's Cruise and Walt Disney World Week, the magic vacation combination. St. Cloud Resort area. Can you believe it? Why, we're the best place to stay in Central Florida. If you're visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, SeaWorld, Boardwalk and Baseball, or Kennedy Space Center. And that's just the start of the fun. In Little Donald's Rock and Roll Palace, you can rock the night away with 50 stars live on stage. Cheer for nights, dusting on horseback, and enjoy the feast at Medieval Times. Join the troops for some Western food, fun, and shopping up for liberty. Even come face to face with some real gators at the Gatorland Zoo. At Watermania, pull out from Florida's largest wave pool. Would I kid you, Kissimmee St. Cloud is in the middle of everything. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, what more could you want? Except a free brochure, right? So call now. I'm waiting. 
When a lot goes into getting a perfect 35 millimeter photo, make sure it gets the individual attention it deserves with Eckert's Ultralab 35 photo processing. Ultralab examines each negative for color and contrast, uses only Kodak paper and chemicals. Plus, Ultralab prints are 30% larger. Take your 35 millimeter film to someone who works as hard as you do to get that perfect photo. Eckert Ultralab 35, nothing looks better. Hello everyone and welcome to sunny Florida. I'm Joan London, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, Alan. Well, happy Easter to you too, Joan. We're here to bring you folks all the excitement of the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. I'm told it is 80 degrees right now. It is a gorgeous Easter Sunday morning where we are coming to you live from the Magic Kingdom. And you've got the best seats in the house, so settle back and get ready for an hour and a half of springtime surprises. Now, right now, let's go down to Main Street, USA, where our old friend Regis Philbin <laughs> has been standing since Christmas. <laughs> that's right. Regis, what's it like down there? Everyone ready for the parade? Yeah, that's right. We're all set down here here, Alan and Joe. Nice to be with you again. I've never met a more enthusiastic crowd right here. Am I right, everybody? Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Right on cue. And I love to meet these people. We're going to meet some right now. You can always tell what a man is like by the t-shirt he wears. Look over here. Grumpy's School of Charm. Hi, Al? Yeah. Where are you from, Al? Uh, Kissimmee. And both of you are married? Yes. And you're together here? Yes, we are. <laughs> you really helped yourself to the Disney uh, merchandise this year, huh? Oh, we sure did. <laughs> Who's this little guy? That's Thumper. It's his holiday. <laughs> uh, you and Thumper, <laughs> it's good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Now, here's a family. Are you all together? Yeah. Now, we're from New Jersey. They're from New York, but we're having dinner together tomorrow night. Well, we just look, met. You're all dressed together. Looks like you just gave birth to these two about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Patriotic. We the people. Uh, nice to see all of you. Happy Easter to everybody right here. Hey, how are you? What is your name? <laughs> I'm Judy. Where are you from, Judy? Tennessee. You're from Tennessee? Yeah. Now, of all the characters here, which one would you love to be? Alice in Wonderland and sit on that mushroom and wave. You look just like her, too. Well, you know, maybe I'll be discovered. Maybe, Judy, but don't count on it. <laughs> all right. It's great to see everybody. We're going to visit with all of you from time to time down here. And now we're going all, we're all ready for the parade, as a matter of fact. It's about to begin right now. Regis is right. The parade is just about to get underway, so let's not keep those people waiting any longer. On your mark, get set, march. <laughs> well, the gates are opening, so it must be official. Let the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade begin. What a delightful way to start off a parade. It is an authentic turn of the century calliope led by Disney's own culture on horses. The calliope was used in a 1960 Disney film called Toby Tyler or Ten Weeks with a Circus. So which one was it, Toby Tyler or, or Ten Weeks with a Circus? Yes, it was. Wait a minute, I think I'm confused. <laughs> well, so were they. The entire name of the film was Toby Tyler or Ten Weeks with a Circus. I got it. Now, that calliope came all the way from London, England. It was built in 1907. Walt Disney saw it and really fell in love with it in the 1940s, so he purchased it, and the rest is history. As you can hear, they're playing with an English accent, Joan. <laughs> There's your shot up Main Street, USA. The parade route today is 1.2 miles long. It runs from the rustic wilderness of Frontierland, past Cinderella Castle, and down Main Street, USA. Who do we have here? That's a colorful sight. Can't think of a better place to spend Happy Easter right than right here in the Magic Kingdom. Among the dancing ostriches. Look at the size of those guys. And that must be a big uh, ostrich egg in the background. Oh, that's the Happy Easter egg. Ah, omelet for 500 It is there. the largest Easter egg in the world, I believe. Look at that shot. You don't decorate that with a brush. You spray paint that egg. <laughs> you can see the painters walking right along the sides. They're six-foot-tall paint brushes. And what's a dancing ostrich without a lovely dancing hippopotamus? You should ask one of them to dance, Alan. I would uh, let her lead. <laughs> Always remember that when dancing with a hippo. Always count your toes when the dance is over. And there they are. They've been lined up here, we can point out, for hours to get a good seat for the parade. 
planning for this parade starts way back uh, right after the Christmas parade. They do all the rehearsing and practicing and getting it together. In the off hours here at Disney World, they start at midnight. They practice all night. Now, I think there are some familiar faces there on that float. My little Jamie and Lindsay are there. There they are waving. That's and right up above there, we have Joanna and Jennifer Philbin, Regis Philbin's daughters. So yours got top billing, I noticed. <laughs> Because I'm the one that said it. Sure, the, the Christ children will have a spin-off from Your this son parade. Brennan's here, but I guess he couldn't get into his bunny up, bunny costume. <laughs> Brennan is here. He's just checking out the bunnies, I think. And look at the live little Some bunnies. Live bunnies. Exactly. Yes. There's a whole generation of bunny boomers there. And of course there's Thumper. We have to point out Thumper up on top of the float. Mm -hmm. He was one of Bambi's best friends. He, they first met in 1942 when that movie Bambi was originally released. One of my favorite movies. Yes. There's our painters. Getting ready to paint that giant egg. That happens to be 12 feet tall. 12 feet tall, that is. A lifetime supply of cholesterol. <laughs> oh, here are all of our friends. I see Jiminy Cricket. And Pinocchio is yes. down here with Jeff Petto. Robin Hood, I see, in the background. Hiding has, out, no doubt. He has Maid Marian and Prince John and Little John and Friar Tuck. And, of course, the Sheriff of Nottingham with him. Cricket. Pinocchio's official conscience. Now Everyone. this is where the crowd really gets excited they when the characters come along. They have a along. favorite character, don't they? There he is. There's Winnie There's the Winnie. Pooh at a close-up shot. There are over 900 Disney characters in the various Disney movies and books. You can see Tigger back there. A lot of color here, 78 degrees, and rising, I'm sure. It has been the most gorgeous week here at Orlando. Nice working conditions. And there's a lot more springtime celebration coming up right here from Walt Disney World, including a visit to Norway, so stay with us. Hi, we're the Jerome's from Peak School, New York, and we'd like to wish you a happy, happy Easter. Easter. certain rules you have to follow while you're vacationing in Florida. First, dieting is strictly prohibited except on alternate Tuesdays in May. It's against Florida rules to say inter-office memorandum. We have people listening and nobody's allowed to read today's paper today. No complaints. This is Florida. The rules are different here. In Florida, however, you are permitted to run around in your shorts. Watch this national rental car carefully and you'll see the Easter Bunny. Ah, oh, he's on the other side of the car. Happy Easter from National, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Watch this national rental car carefully and you'll see the Easter Bunny hop right in front of it. Make that right over it. Happy Easter from National, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. The game Monopoly is back at McDonald's. Bigger and better than ever. This year, there's more prizes than ever. McDLT! Coca-Cola! Congratulations! Hey, collect the right game pieces. And win two million dollars! Woohoo! There's over 50 million dollars in prizes, including hundreds of Walt Disney World vacations on Delta Airlines! Play Monopoly at McDonald's. It's not just big, it's huge! The Disney Sunday movie. Ah! Stop this! Sam! Sam, where are you? An afternoon adventure becomes a test for survival. Someone was carried out of here. Bigfoot, two weeks from tonight. Coming to you live from the Magic Kingdom in Florida. 
We're coming to you live from the Magic Kingdom in Florida. Our special guest here is one of the baby <laughs> bunnies from the float. They're so incredibly soft. Yeah. What's his name? This is uh, Regis. Regis the rabbit. Oh, come Cotton on. Cottontail Philbin. Because it's so cute and cuddly, So cute right? and cuddly, and he, the way the other one hops around there <laughs> down on Main Street, I don't know how he does it. All right, let's go down to the other Regis down the parade route. You're going to take that, Regis? <laughs> All right, we're back now. Listen, we've got people from all over the place, and so what do you think they're doing? You think you've got the only camera in town? Take a look at this. Everybody poised to take my picture. Come on, let's go. Here I am. These people are from, really, all over the country and all over the world, too. Where are you from, sir? Nebraska. Nebraska? Tennessee. Tennessee. I know. When you want to be discovered, I heard about it. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. New, York. New York. New York. New York. New York. How's that working? Pretty good. Very good so far. That's great. Not only from all over the country, but all over the world as well. As a matter of fact, we've got four young ladies here from, uh, uh, three young ladies and one young man from Norway. Yes, that's right. You're here to work at Disney World, huh? Yes, we're going to work in the Norwegian Pavilion when it opens in the end of April. That's right. How does it look to you? It's very beautiful. It's almost as the similar. It's almost like Norway. It's pretty representative of Norway, huh? How do they celebrate Easter in Norway? Well, you have this Easter morning. You crack those eggs against each other. <laughs> And the one who get, got the cracked egg, he have to give the other one up. All right, fine. Listen, have a wonderful stay here at uh, Disney World. And I had a chance to visit Norway just a few days ago, and here's what I saw. For a thrilling adventure of a lifetime, there's no better place to be than right here. Welcome to Norway, gateway to Scandinavia. And well, actually, this isn't the real Norway. It's the Norway Pavilion, now nearing completion with the newest, most exciting ride in all of Epcot Center. Here, not only will you see a Norway of today, but you'll sail through a Norway of yesterday in an adventurous ride-through attraction that's unlike anything else in the World Showcase. But even as we speak, work is still going on. To ready, the 11th World Showcase station for guests to explore this summer. In fact, attention to detail is so important that craftsmen from Norway, like these roofers, have been brought in here to work on the project. You know, modern Norway is incredible. From its beautiful sea coast to its mountain hamlets, Norwegians have a rich history all of their own. But more than serene beauty, there's a lot of real excitement here, too. As soon you'll be able to climb aboard Eric the Red's fierce Viking ship for thrills and spills unlike any other. Because at this very moment, Disney Imagineers are putting the finishing touches on this hair-raising Viking voyage. You'll be magically transported back in time to a 10th century Viking village. Then it scares and surprises at every turn as you slip into the shadows of a deep, dark, mythical Norwegian forest. Watch out! One of the creatures may cast an evil spell and cause your ship to plunge backwards, past threatening polar bears, and down into a churning North Sea storm as lightning strikes and crashing waves sweep you past a towering oil platform. It's an incredible journey you'll long remember. And right over here, the finishing touches are being put on this fantastic adventure. Right, guys? Come here, fun for you. You guys brave enough to go on the Viking voyage? Hey, it's okay if you're a little scared. It's quite an adventure. Yeah. Well, me and my buddies are going to chat a little more, but from all of us here at the Norway Pavilion, happy Easter, everybody. And thank you, Regis, from Norway back down to Main Street. And we are back at the parade, and here come the Steamboat Stompers. Now, this Dixieland jazz group, they're playing a sizzling rendition of It's a Hot Time in the Old Town Tonight. They keep these guys in a fire truck, so if they play too hot, they can hose each other down, <laughs> I think. That's a four-alarm song they're playing now. Let's listen. name of that band is the Steamboat Stompers. You know, to some people, springtime means flowers or spring break, but to most peanut-loving, hot dog-chomping Americans, it also means batter up, Joan. <laughs> well, take me after the ball game. It's that old hot dog himself, Pluto, and of course his winning team. Uh-huh. <laughs> In Pluto's second cartoon called The Picnic, he was named Rover. He was actually Minnie's dog. Did you know that? And he was also originally a bloodhound. Mm -hmm. Of course, the best job in baseball now is the designated agent. 
<laughs> Ruder got a pretty good hit there. I think he's ready to renegotiate. You bet. Got his lawyers uh, surrounding him there. You, right. uh, you know that baseball is an all-American invention. Do you know who invented it? Yes. Okay. Wasn't it Abner Doubleday? It certainly okay. was. Do you know when? <laughs> no, that you got me. 18... 39. Oh, all right. They called it Abner Ball, I think. That was long before <laughs> Billy Ball. <laughs> oh, I'm smelling the popcorn now. Mm -hmm. You What's got the most important thing about baseball? Well, well I don't know. What is the most well, important you know, thing about baseball? Well, you know, you can have uh, good hitting, you can have your great pitching. If you have lousy popcorn, it's going to be a lousy season. A country is only as good as its popcorn. I believe that. And in Joan, this is excellent. I predict a great spring. We have some. And you're right. Absolutely. <laughs> we've got lots more Happy Easter Parade coming up, right? Oh, well, yes. And we've also uh, got one of the biggest barbershop quartet <laughs> groups you've ever heard. Now, you might be thinking if there's more than four, it's not a quartet, but this is the That's Magic cool. Kingdom, folks. Regis will also be taking a look at some movie magic going on right here at the new Disney MGM studio. So please stay with us. This and much more coming up right after this. Yes. Thank you very much. Very good. Mm. Hi, we're the Hicks family from Nova Scotia, Canada. Happy, Happy Easter, Easter, everyone. Run. People are always asking me, where's the Kissimmee St. Cloud Resort area? Can you believe it? Why, we're the best place to stay in Central Florida. If you're visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, SeaWorld, Boardwalk and Baseball, or Kennedy Space Center. And that's just the start of the fun. In Little Donald's Rock and Roll Palace, you can rock the night away with 50 stars live on stage. Cheer for nights, jousting on horseback, and enjoy the feast at medieval times. Join the troops for some Western food, fun, and shopping up for liberty. Even come face to face with some real gators at the Gatorland Zoo. How water mania, pull out from Florida's largest wave pool. Would I kid you, Kissimmee St. Cloud is in the middle of everything. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, what more could you want? Except a free brochure, right? So call now. I'm waiting. feet long and 1,600 pounds. See baby Shamu before she grows up. Only at SeaWorld. <laughs> you know, there's probably no other place in the world that has more magic than right here at Walt Disney World. And right now, there's some movie magic going on at the brand new Disney MGM Studios. That's right. It's going to be Walt Disney World's third theme park. It'll yeah. be an amazing place. You'll see some of your favorite movies come to life. You'll actually experience the side of movie making that the audience rarely gets a chance to see. We just had the opportunity to go backstage and get a sneak peek at the fantastic place. Let's take a look. Yes. Lights, camera. Regis. <laughs> Hello. Some of you may recognize this house. It's where the Golden Girls live. Let's see if anybody's home. Gotta see if those crazy golden girls are home here. Hello? Hello? I wonder if anybody's home. Boy, these golden girls sure could use a decorator. Cut. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much, Regis. That's a wrap. Good, I'm glad you liked it. Now at the Disney MGM Studios, nothing is as it seems. This entire New York street is being built from scratch. And just like the Golden Girls' house, these homes are nothing but false fronts. This house, for example, was used in the upcoming Disney Sunday night movie, Splash 2. Of course, what you see on TV and what really went on is quite a different story. 
But it's all part of the illusion, the magic of the movies. And soon, you can be part of all the glamour and excitement of the movies when Walt Disney World unveils its third theme park, the Disney MGM Studio Tour. It's here that you can get right in the middle of scenes from your favorite movies. Hop aboard the great movie ride, an exciting ride-through adventure where you'll come face to face with frightening aliens. Get caught between the crossfire of a gangster shootout. And meet up with your favorite movie stars. Want to be a star yourself? Well, then step right up to the Disney Television Theater, where roles from TV shows are up for grabs. And now, let us update on weather. Is Wendy the weather girl. Thank you. Here, guests get to act out the action as the cameras roll in front of a 1,000-person audience. So take your umbrella. From Mickey Mouse's 1928 debut, to Snow White, to The Fox and the Hound, the Disney name is famous for its classic animation. Here you can see world-renowned Disney animators and take a rare sneak peek at upcoming animated Disney projects in the works. For a real movie-making experience, watch as an empty soundstage goes from this to this. It's here that many movies and TV shows do much of their filming. And sound stages like this one will be open so visitors can view actual production from specially designed soundproof observation platforms. And oh yes, there's one place we can't forget. This is just one of the post-production areas where you can see it all coming together. The Disney MGM studio is in operation now, and in the near future, it'll all be open to the public to give you a real insider's eye view of the magic of movies. Okay, how was that, Dave? Okay? Just great, Regis. Good. Okay. Now, uh, Dave, what, what about me? Now, get me out of here, Dave. Come on. Dave! Regis is stuck on TV, that kooky, wacky, zany, goofy guy. Well, if you're going to be stuck, the Disney MGM Studios sound like a pretty exciting place to be stuck. And when that studio tour opens next year, everyone will be able to do just what Regis did, get the inside story on movie magic. Right now, the look what's coming our way, top hats and parasols, gorgeous Sunday clothes, and each one of those costumes took over 32 hours to make. Oh, my goodness. The Main Street itself is a replica of turn-of-the-century America. That's what America looked like 90 years ago. When George Burns was only 50. <laughs> <laughs> There's the gazebo. Yeah. Gazebo, of course, is French for Gesundheit. I think. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> it's a freestanding building with no roof, with a roof, rather, and no sides. All right. I almost said, what did I almost say? I don't know. I don't think you could do it again. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hop, skip, and a jump down the street for these kids. I think they're having a good time. Mm. And they're nannies. the nannies, yes. Nannies and the With kids. With their little charges. So colorful. I remember going to Disneyland for the very first time back, I think it was 1955 is when it was first opened. And I was a little girl, Dumbo was my favorite ride. You remember your first time at Disney? Uh, I do, I do. And uh, that was at Disneyland in California. How old were you? I was uh, about 53, I think. <laughs> in George Burns years. Can you do a Look whole hoop like that guy? I now watch this guy juggle. This kid's really good. <laughs> There are over two million pieces of wardrobe here at Disney World. And of course, always somebody who will say, I don't have a thing to wear. <laughs> That's you another do that. thing I couldn't do. Oh, really? <laughs> And they're the flower girls with the beautiful flower cart. Yes. To me, beautiful flowers, that's what means springtime. I know baseball means springtime to you. Are you hinting? Do I need to come up with a bouquet before this is over? <laughs> yes. Now look, those a antique car. cars traveling down Main Street are classic Model A's. Mm -hmm. 24 horsepower. A road 
Roadster in 1929 cost a grand total of $450. That's about the cost of a tank of gas. That's now. right. And that car right there was purchased from a family in Tennessee. And get this, I am told that they loved the car so much that they didn't keep it in the garage. They kept it in their living room. Of course. And they had a TV out in the garage. <laughs> There are many Model A clubs active throughout the United States. All right, here you go. We've got our bike. So there's a tandem. There's a bicycle built for built two. It's a 1931 yeah. twin tandem. It's seven feet long. And I'm told it's the first bicycle with balloon tires. That is, that the tires were filled with air and not made of solid rubber. Mm -hmm. and look at this one. Yeah, he's eight feet up in the air. Needs a pilot's license for that bike. That's an 1888. Victor Highwheeler that we just saw. There's the, the twin. Those are not the easiest things to, to ride on, especially that highwheeler right there. And the two wheelers were mostly for courting. Oh, yes. Oh, here's our barbershop quartet that we've been waiting for. The Dapper Dads making their way down Main Street. Uh-huh. Very popular band here in Disney oh, World. Look who's there. Look who's there. Goofy, getting a goofy haircut. Let's listen to him. The big man in the mirror. <laughs> oh, now here we go. This is the big group. I think there are yes. 70 of them today. The big orange men's chorus of Jacksonville, Florida. They all belong to the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. Want to say that again? No. I think they have their own telethon, those guys. You call in and pledge your tonsil. <laughs> we'll be back with more music and fun right after this. Hi, we're the Wagner family from Portage, Michigan. We'd like to wish you a happy Easter! cruise line of Walt Disney World brings you the cruise that comes with a Walt Disney World vacation free. Three full days include hotel, rental car, and admission to it all with a luxury four-night cruise to the Bahamas from Central Florida. Ask your travel agent about Premier Cruise Line's Cruise and Walt Disney World Week, the magic vacation combination. When a hundred nursery school kids were exposed to spinal meningitis, Two pharmacists from Eckerd Drugs worked overtime against time itself. Mixing enough antibiotic, dose by dose, for each and every child. And through their dedication and concern, they stopped an epidemic before it started. To an Eckerd pharmacist, nothing's more important than your health. She's gotta walk that set to music. So sexy, silky smooth She's a no-nonsense kind of woman You gotta watch her every move No-nonsense Sharon Silky has the same silky look and feel of some department store pantyhose at nowhere near the price Her legs steal the show, but it's never an act And if you whistle at her, she might whistle back No-nonsense Well, if the attitude fits, wear it Disney World Happy Easter Parade will continue in a moment. Tuesday, pain. Don't forget, 5 o'clock, sponge bath. Leads to pleasure. Who is the boss? Looking forward to it. Then, this was Lewis. He was on my sister like mold on cheese. I couldn't help feeling she needed my protection. I'm on to you, Lewis. The Wonder Years, after Who's the Boss, Tuesday. <gasps> 
When you're looking for the best truck, a new Ford truck, the way you want it, a lot of dealers give you this. But not at South Florida's truck centers. Flamingo Ford and Hollywood Ford, they give you the best selection of Rangers, Bronco 2s, Bronco XLTs, F-150 and F-250s, Aerostars, vans, and custom conversion vans with $2,000 minimum trade on your old vehicle and up to $600 cash savings back from Ford on select models. Hollywood Ford, 1200 North Federal Highway in Hollywood and Flamingo Ford, US-1 in Homestead. A little further south, a lot better deal. With the most sweeping tax changes in history, everyone's asking questions. Can I still continue to take my IRA? What's deductible? Ah, it's too confusing. Here's where you'll get all your answers. Because our people know the new tax laws. They'll save you every dollar possible, so you'll get the biggest refund you have coming. H and R Block, I know that they'd be there. They'd be there to put their hands over my shoulder and put me at ease. <laughs> if there's ever a time for H and R Block, it's now. Don't face the new tax laws alone. The one and only Channel 10. Easter Parade, brought to you by the Kissimmee St. Cloud Resort Area. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, it's the best place to stay when you're visiting Central Florida. <laughs> well, we're having a wonderful time here, and uh, <laughs> a happy Easter coming up next, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But before we go back to Main Street, we wanted to share these wonderful little Easter eggs with you. I guess these are dwarf eggs, They right? are. They're grade A small. <laughs> there are seven of them, one for each dwarf, and they've been decorated by some of the Disney cast members' children. Mm -hmm. Who do you have there? I think I have uh, Doc and Bashful. Okay, and I've got Happy, from left to right, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey and sleepy. Yes. Sneezy's back here. He took uh, a little sinus medication today. Yes. He's under the weather. Be careful you don't crush them together. Here you get runny and gooey also. <laughs> here we have all seven now. <laughs> and there was a contest held, right? It was held at Kinder Care. That's a place where the cast members' kids can stay while their parents work. And these are the winners. These That's eggs right. look, These could give the Easter Bunny a run for his money, you I bet. think. And Very. all the eggs, we should say, in the contest were really beautiful. And we want to thank all the kindergartners from Miss Amy's class. And right now, they will go back down to the street and meet Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Don't wake up sleepy. Okay. <laughs> and here comes Snow White. You might remember, Alan, that last uh, year, Snow White was the big grand marshal because it was the anniversary, the 50th anniversary, the release of the feature film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This year she's riding a horse, and after thought, I believe, it's just pink. Well, you have to be a, a charming is. guy to deserve a, a lady as fine as Snow White. One of the all-time classics, not just of animation, but of any film. That film made its debut 51 years ago. A lot of people scoffed at Walt's dream. They felt no one would sit still long enough for a feature of Mike's cartoon. Ha, 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 on that. <laughs> and can you name the seven dwarfs? Uh, I can, yes. Um, uh, Quickly. <laughs> let me look at my eggs here. Doc, bashful, <laughs> sleepy. sleepy. S sleepy. Did you say sleazy? No. no. Sleazy, sleazy. Happy, grumpy, and dopey. <laughs> you know, there were some unusual names, though, that were thought about, right? That, that, that never got used. Never got used. They were originally thinking of Wheezy, Puffy, <laughs> Stuffy, and Burpee. <laughs> Not to mention Baldy, Nifty, Gabby, and Stubby. I think they picked the best yes, names, actually. Those are my lawyers. <laughs> I could have used them all. They would have Snow White. Snow White, did I say? And the 40 dwarfs. Snow White. <laughs> now, Doki happens to be the most popular of all of them. However, Doc's really considered the, the leader of this silly little group. Dopey's the only one without a beard. Did you know that? Oh, that's right. He is the only one. Oh, look who's here. It's Huey, Dewey, oh. and Louie. We're on short ducks now. <laughs> I see what they've decided to do on spring break. Hit the beach. You didn't comment on my one Disney impression that I did. I went... Oh, that was you? Yeah, that was... Oh, you, you thought out. it was the... <laughs> They're at the beach, these ducks. In 1939, the Donald Duck starred in a short called Beach Picnic, and there's Donald and Daisy up there dancing away. Yes. Well, it looks 
like there's a lot of excitement going on down there. Let's check in right now with Regis Philbin. Regis. All right, thank you, Joe. Well, we saw Huey, Dewey, and Louie on their spring break. Now let's get to some other people on their spring break. I think half the audience is on a spring break, yeah. including this guy, Daytona. Spring break, huh? Spring break uh, from Plainview, Long Island. I'd love to see a 40-year-old guy on spring break. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you very much. Where are you from? Seaford, Long Island. South Dakota, University of. Springfield, Massachusetts, Springfield, Texas. Wagner College, Staten Island. Having a good spring break? What about you? Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Harrison, what's the most exciting thing that's happened to you during this spring break? We hit a car coming out of the airport. Oh, terrific. Wonderful. Anybody hurt? It's been great. No, nope, nobody hurt. All right, so you're having a good time anyway, huh? Very, very good. And where are you from, ma'am? Uh, Kissimmee. Kissimmee. That's just right around the corner here. Yeah, and what about you ladies? We're from Notre Dame. We drove straight down 22 hours in a van. Oh, is that right? How many? Eight girls. Eight girls in a van. Yeah, and the Notre Dame guys followed us. <laughs> I'll bet they did. All right, fine. And, and you? Um, what, what's the question? Where are you from? Where are you from? Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. Very good. All right, fine. And you, I know, I know, you want to be... Disgust. I know, yeah, sure. All right, listen. <laughs> Speaking of vacations, let's take a trip now to the Grand Floridian uh, Beach Resort. Uh, it's Disney's newest hotel in more than 10 years. This gorgeous hotel opens this summer with the turn-of-the-century uh, elegance and styling like anything you have ever seen. The Grand Floridian is so grand it makes you want to go step it out. is grand but maybe the grandest of all is the grand floridian it's a beautiful place beautiful Ooh. place and you can check it out by checking in this summer meanwhile don't you go away because we've got lots more coming up when we come back we'll have the crazy keystone cops and everyone's favorite chipmunks chip and dale and we'll also see what alice in wonderland is up to these days so stay right there <laughs> certain rules you have to follow while you're vacationing in Florida. First, dieting is strictly prohibited except on alternate Tuesdays in May. It's against Florida rules to say inter-office memorandum. We have people listening and nobody's allowed to read today's paper today. No complaints. This is Florida. The rules are different here. In Florida, however, you are permitted to run around in your shorts. St. Cloud Resort area. Can you believe it? Why, we're the best place to stay in Central Florida. If you're visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, SeaWorld, Boardwalk and Baseball, or Kennedy Space Center. And that's just the start of the fun. In Little Diamond's Rock and Roll Palace, you can rock the night away with 50 stars live on stage. Cheer for nights, dusting on horseback, and enjoy the feast at Medieval Times. 
Join the troops for some Western food, fun, and shopping up for liberty. Even come face to face with some real gators at the Gatorland Zoo. At Watermania, pull out from Florida's largest wave pool. Would I kid you, Kissimmee St. Cloud is in the middle of everything. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, what more could you want? Except a free brochure, right? So call now. I'm waiting. From Walt Disney Pictures, in 1981, it premiered as the most successful Disney animated motion picture ever. Now, we're back. The Fox and the Hound has returned. the time to share the wonder and excitement of this modern Disney classic. I think I bet my feet. Only in theaters. The Fox and the Hound. <laughs> Rated G. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. And the winner is everybody who likes movies. Thank you all very much. The 60th Annual Academy Awards, live. Well, we are back live at the Magic Kingdom in Florida. It's in the 80s. It is so gorgeous. The hat shop is up next. Wasn't that Regis's? Yes, it is. This was Regis's, and ladies and gentlemen, a little uh, sleight of hat for you now. In this hat, of course, as you know, is a rabbit. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. with a simple abracadabra, hocus pocus, presto. I've made the rabbit disappear. Thank you. That's just thank wonderful, you. No, Alan. Thank you. No, thank you. Please hold the applause. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back down to the street, okay? And see do what's that. going on down there. And look what's coming our way. Those couples in period costumes are the Main Street dancers. And fashions were kind of fancy those days. Back around the turn of the century, was it? This is a, a modest way of courting back then. Mm -hmm. The fella gets smart, he gets smacked with an umbrella, it looks like. <laughs> it was an elegant period, wasn't it? It really wasn't. Here's the hat shop float. Elegant hats. Now that is a hat trick to keep one of those on your head. That's right, because each one weighs over 10 pounds. And they are one-of-a-kind creations. They're dressed with lace and ostrich plumes and pheasant feathers. Of course, you remember the original Mad Hatter. He had his own birthday party in Alice well, in Wonderland. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this elegance is being followed here by a little craziness. By a little unelegance. <laughs> <laughs> Keystone Cox. Caught on the trail of Chip and Dale. Now, what could those cute little chipmunks have possibly done wrong, maybe? I don't know, but they've got the Keystone Cops up in arms. Let's watch. Mugged an oak tree. <laughs> guys pulled my car over. <laughs> <laughs> now, Chip and Dale made their screen debut as minor characters in Private Pluto in 1943. Uh -huh. Now, of course, they're very big stars. And they'll get time off for silly behavior <laughs> after this performance. How do you tell Chip and Dale apart? Do you know that? Yes. Chip has one tooth and a dark, dark brown nose, and Dale has two teeth and kind of a reddish brown nose. Of course, they are famous Puckermaniacs. They've been known to steal food from Donald Duck and all the rest. Maybe they took the Easter basket. Well, the, the cops seem to have this street under control. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Here's the Keystone Cop Band. They're playing a tune called Silent Saga. And we should point out that those mus musicians are students who are performing here on their spring break. Hundreds of high school students get to perform here at Walt Disney World as part of a Disney program called Magic Music Day. All right, this says springtime. It's the Alice in Wonderland crew, all her friends. This is the teapot. The 
The film Alice in Wonderland has more characters than any other Disney animated feature. And look at the size of that teapot. It takes a whole lemon tree. And the dancing flowers. Somehow they don't grow in my garden that way. <laughs> you know, everything in this parade is larger than life. You get a feeling of how, how those dwarfs must feel all the time. That's right. That guy right there saying, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Right? Well, he made it to the parade. So <laughs> what else could be more important on an Easter Sunday? White Rabbit should be a very big star today. And there she is, high atop the mushroom, Alice herself. Based on the Lewis Carroll books, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and looking through the looking or through the looking glass. Yes, and the whole Alice in Wonderland story started when Alice was following the White Rabbit and tumbled down a rabbit hole into a whole new world of fantasy. Don't you love it when that happens? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she is a favorite of a lot of little girls along this parade route. And these butterflies, big butterflies. They have wings spun of pure silk. 747 butterflies, <laughs> their own frequent flyer program. Beautiful costumes. How you tell them apart? Uh, don't ask Tweedledum. He would. <laughs> only by the little names right on their collars. That's the only way you can tell them apart. Well, I know this is hokey, but Joan, here's a bokey. Oh. This is for you. <laughs> now, weren't you in full bloom yourself last Easter? <laughs> yes, I was. You yes. noticed that. Yes. Well, thank you. And Are how you old sure is though? The baby now? The baby. Ah, oh, little Sarah is eight months old. Eight months old. I think this though means that spring is in the air. Don't you think so? It can have a powerful effect on everyone, even the world's most famous mice. Let's see if lovesick Minnie Mouse is ever going to capture the heart of her longtime love, the mouse of her dreams, Mickey Mouse. Disney World brings you the cruise that comes with a Walt Disney World vacation free. Three full days 
amenities include hotel, rental car, and admission to it all, with a luxury four-night cruise to the Bahamas from Central Florida. Ask your travel agent about Premier Cruise Line's Cruise and Walt Disney World Week, the magic vacation combination. This time, the Easter Bunny is going to hop right in front of the camera. There. Happy Easter from National, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Watch this National rental car carefully, because the Easter Bunny is going to hop by at any moment. He's a short bunny. Happy Easter from National, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Hard-nosed Mrs. Hatcher, tough as you can get. Today we'll be reading chapters three, four. You can never win her over. Thanks, Judith. I'll do this. Mrs. That. Hatcher had no pets. Forget the excuses. There's no way to reach her. I almost blew out the bus window. I didn't do it. Our only break was a substitute teacher. In Mrs. Hatcher's absence, there will be no test. <laughs> Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade will continue in a moment. I had more fun last night than any teenager should be allowed to have. Whoa. Just wait till Mom finds out. She's here! Growing pains. And it's the classroom possessed. I am here. I am real. I am watching. If you're very, very quiet, you can hear him. Head of the class after Growing Pains Wednesday. For a limited time, you can pick a pair of bargains at Rent-A-Center. Take home this dependable washer-dryer combination for one low weekly payment of $19.99. Or pick this pair of studio-quality speakers and 100-watt stereo system for just $19.99 a week. With Rent-A-Center, you can rent to own. There's free delivery, no credit check, and you can even order by phone. But hurry, this is a limited time offer. Great Rent-A-Center values are waiting for you today. Stop in or rent to own by phone. Here is film royalty. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Betty Davis. If I didn't smoke a cigarette, they would not know who I was. Well, here we are. Uh, you're smoking a cigarette. This audience is applauding fornication. Uh, Join Phil, Monday morning at 9, followed by Geraldo at 10. The Dade County Youth Fair, March 17th through April 3rd. Well, hello, we're back just having an Easter ball here, live <laughs> on this beautiful Easter Sunday from Walt Disney World. And we've seen the world's largest Easter egg, yeah. a lot of our favorite Disney characters at their annual Easter party. Now, it's time to see how they celebrate Easter in the country, so let's go back down to Main Street, where the parade is in full swing right now. Those gorgeous horses. Belgium horses. The beautiful and big. Huge. You can uh, visit them at Disney's own Tri Circle B Ranch. It is there that the Belgians and more than 50 other horses are kept. You know, out in California, though, where you live, there's a 700 acre Disney ranch, mm -hmm. and that's where they shot Little House on the Prairie. Oh, look who's Who coming. do we have here? It's the Country Bear. It looks like they took some time off from the Country Bear Vacation Hoedown in Frontierland. Wendell Being Shaker. Today's parade. Yeah. Liver lip. You see him there? Big L. No hibernating when these guys are around. They're loud. <laughs> They're playing Rocky Top. Let's listen. Rocky Top. These are the clog dancers. Where did them go? That'll get your heels clicking. That's your clog dancer watcher. 
It's like they're trying to get gum off their shoe. <laughs> I can move like that, but only walking across the hot sand. <laughs> All the hoedown dancers are dancing their way down uh, Main Street. Don't look now, though. I think there's a huge burn on the loose, Allen. Yes, well, you'd run to if Clara Cluck was ruling your roost, and there she is. Chicken that keeps on ticking. Are these the Cluckettes? <laughs> you know, Clara has a foul-feathered cousin named Lady Cluck who appeared in Robin Hood. She was the appetizer in the buffet scene, I think. Yeah, Clara Cluck made her screen debut in 1934 in a cartoon called Orphan Benefit. We'll listen to a little of Dolly Parton's Nine to Five, one of my uh -huh. favorite songs. Yes. Remember the other famous Disney chicken, Chicken Little? Oh, that's right. Yes. He appeared in a 1943 short. In fact, he, he thought the sky was falling, right? Yeah. He kept trying to keep away from uh, Foxy Loxy, if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, those feathers on those costumes are actually turkey feathers. <laughs> And when we come back, we will meet everybody's favorite nanny, Mary Poppins. And then as a special treat, you'll be in on the television debut of Illuminations, a new nighttime spectacular at Epcot Center. Oh, yes, it is. We'll also see if we can turn this here uh, pumpkin into a crystal coach, <laughs> because Cinderella is coming. He's going to need a lift. Come on, boy. You bet. <laughs> we'll that magic back. wand of mine. <laughs> We are the Young family from Richmond, Virginia, wishing you a happy, happy Easter. Easter. There are certain rules you have to follow while you're vacationing in Florida. First, dieting is strictly prohibited except on alternate Tuesdays in May. It's against Florida rules to say inter-office memorandum. We have people listening, and nobody's allowed to read today's paper today. No complaints. This is Florida. The rules are different here. In Florida, however, you are permitted to run around in your shorts. Up in the morning, you just beat the sun. Too much to do, you gotta get done. If anyone can do it, you'll find a way. Of squeezing 30 hours into a 24 hour day. The clock's running faster and you're running. Florida if you're visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, SeaWorld, Lord Welcome Baseball, or Kennedy Space Center. You'll see Western shows, jousting nights, Florida Gators, live rock and roll music, and water parks. Semi St. Cloud is in the middle of everything. So call now for a free brochure. I'm waiting. For those unable to make the trip, the Antarctic can now be found at a more convenient location. The Penguin Encounter at SeaWorld. She's 12 feet long and 1,600 pounds. See Baby Shamu before she grows up. Only at SeaWorld. On the Disney Sunday movie. <laughs> Afternoon adventure becomes a test for survival. Someone was carried out of here. Bigfoot, two weeks from tonight. 
We are back at the Happy Easter Parade from Walt Disney World in Florida. We are so, and you know, in the uh, early 1950s, one of Walt Disney's daughters suggested that he make a movie out of the book she was reading, and luckily for all of us, he did. That's right. Let's take a look at some of our favorite characters from Mary Poppins. You know, Mary and Bert look like they could have stepped right out of the movie and onto Main Street. Those outfits they're wearing are exact replicas of the ones Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke wore in the Walt Disney 1964 classic. And of course, there's only one word to describe this scene. And what might that be? Uh, that would be your uh, your uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I almost got it right. Very good. I'm impressed. <laughs> but can you spell it? Uh, not all at once, no. no. But I know it's worth about 4,000 points in Scrabble. Yes. I'm going to work on it. Ah, here comes the pearly band. How'd you like to sew the buttons on the pearly band outfits? There are over 1,000 buttons on each suit. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be buttoning it up wrong and get to the last one and know that you were one up and say, no. Nah. A zipper might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> chimney sweeps back there dancing away and let me tell you these outfits that they're wearing are hand dyed to give it that that sooty look and i think that's a, con a concept that my children would really yeah. be in love with <laughs> don't need any hand dyeing at my house julie andrews of course won the oscar for her role as mary in this movie it was her film debut the film actually won 13 Academy Award nominations and took home five Oscars, including Best Actress, Film Editing, Original Score, the song Chim Chim Cherie, mm -hmm. and Special Visual Effects. Remember some of the other great songs, A Spoonful of Sugar? Oh, yeah. And, of course, Super Kella, etc., etc. That's right. <laughs> Well, the music was written by the famous Sherman Brothers, who also did the music for other Disney films like The Aristocats and The Jungle Book. They're kind of the Lennon McCartney of Disneyland. That's right. The film took place in 1910 in London. Look at that guy go. Ah, that's nothing, right, Alan? You yes, can do that. He uh, right? takes pride in a, <laughs> in a clean chimney. <laughs> That's I think great. the Romanian judge gave him a 9.4 on that so. <laughs> leap and sweep combination. It was a great movie, though. It broke all box office records. I think it's probably the, the video that's been played the most in my house. I know all the words. <laughs> There's a little chim chim curry. You know that Mary Poppins warns people to use the S word <laughs> very carefully. <laughs> Super That's right. Or it may change your life, she warned. Ah, uh, look at the children watching. And a pearly band member agreed with her and answered, One night I said it to me, girl, and now me girls be wise. <laughs> oh, look who's here, Alan. It's the court dancers. That means that uh, Cinderella can't be too far behind. Mm -hmm. I'm told those ball gowns are made of organza and trimmed in pearls. I told you that. Oh, yes? Okay. <laughs> you believe that? No, not for a minute. <laughs> now, we know who helped sew Cinderella's ball gown. That's right. Susie and Perla, they've got it. There they are, coming up right behind there. Two very talented mice. Nice mice. There they are, Alan, Susie and Perla. The royal band is playing a medley of songs from the 1950 movie, Cinderella. What else? And the royal band, I should point out, is also led by Captain Mike Davis back there. There's Captain Mike. He's sort of the, the prince of the royal band. <laughs> That's right. coach work done. That's right. Well, you know, the, the film itself was six years in the making. I did my best on that pumpkin, John. <laughs> if it's not crystal by now, maybe it's styrofoam. <laughs> 
And there, there she is, is, Alan, the lady herself, Cinderella. I like the coach? The coach looks great. And there are the little poor little white Shetland ponies leading the coach, that are, of course, mice, and the fairy godmother. Yes. Well, bibbidi-bobbidi to you, too. Oh, that's great. Love that Cinderella. What do you have? When you look at one of these, what do you see? You see nothing because it's not on. But in real life, this is an ordinary light bulb. When you string thousands of these together, however, what do you get besides a ridiculous electric bill? <laughs> well, when you add that to incredibly high-powered lasers, rainbow-colored fountains, glorious fireworks, and a symphony orchestra, you have illuminations at Epcot Center. It's a nighttime fantasy show unlike any other in the world. It's wonderful. Treat yourself. If you get down here, make sure you see it. Of course, it takes a lot of hard work yeah. to put a nightly show like that together. So the other day and night, we just filled and went behind the scenes to see what's involved in putting together the Epcot extravaganza. I have an idea. It takes more than one light bulb to put on Illuminations, the electrifying new nightly laser light fireworks fountain show at Epcot Center. In fact, it takes more than 50,000 light bulbs. Each night, over 26,000 feet of building room lighting and 680 strobe lights have to be checked and changed. Hey, how'd you like to have that guy's job? Special effects image projectors are tested and brilliant laser lights are adjusted and retested again. At sunrise, the pyrotechnics are loaded in and prepared. Over 780 fireworks in all are ignited for every performance. Later, backstage, it's rehearsal time for the 100 water fountain nozzles, which will create the lagoon's dancing water patterns. Then the barges, loading the illuminations, fireworks, and other special effects props, are driven out to their places in the World Showcase Lagoon. There they are armed with the necessary equipment and fine-tuned for the evening show. Back at Epcot Computer Central, technicians are preparing the network of more than 25 computers it takes to put on a show of this magnitude. Everything from the music to the lights to the lasers must be perfectly synchronized down to the second for the show to be a success. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, And now, five, ladies and gentlemen, four, Illuminations! Three. It really is incredible. Illuminating, yes. You folks stay where you are because we're coming right back with the grand finale. That's right. And Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. See you in a minute. Hop to it. <laughs> Cosa family from Oxford, Connecticut, and we'd like to wish you all Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. People are always asking me, where's the Kissimmee St. Cloud Resort area? Can you believe it? Why, we're the best place to stay in Central Florida. If you're visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, SeaWorld, Boardwalk and Baseball, or Kennedy Space Center. And that's just the start of the fun. In Little Donald's Rock and Roll Palace, you can rock the night away with 50 stars live on stage. Cheer for nights, jousting on horseback, and enjoy the feast at medieval times. Join the troops for some Western food, fun, and shopping up for liberty. Even come face to face with some real gators at the Gatorland Zoo. At Watermania, pull off in Florida's largest wave pool. 
But I kid you, Kissimmee St. Cloud is in the middle of everything. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, what more could you want? Except a free brochure, right? So call now. I'm waiting. When you wish upon a star. The official cruise line of Walt Disney World brings you the cruise that comes with a Walt Disney World vacation free. Include hotel, rental car, and admission to it all with a luxury four-night cruise to the Bahamas from Central Florida. Ask your travel agent about Premier Cruise Lines Cruise and Walt Disney World Week, the magic vacation combination. This time we've really got him. The Easter Bunny is in the national rental car. As you can see, he'll be coming out any moment now. Happy Easter from National, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. The Easter Bunny has agreed to come out of the car. The door is opening. Ladies and gentlemen, the Easter Bunny... Happy Easter from National, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World and Disneyland. cartoons of Walt Disney are now on video cassette for only $14.95. And you thought they were priceless. Imagine, classic Disney had a goofy price. <laughs> Welcome back to Walt Disney World and the Happy Easter Parade. Before we see the grand finale of this year's parade, we're going to pay one last visit to Regis Philbin down on Main Street. How's it going, Ridge? It's going fine, Joan. You know, one of the fascinating things about covering this parade is the attire that they wear. And a lot of people get really into the swing of things when they pick up that Disney t-shirt and put it on. It becomes magical. We've got three families here who are all related who came to us from, uh, let's see, uh, Crest Hill? And Crest, Illinois. Crest, Illinois. That's about 40 miles south of Chicago. Right. Now, you are? Mike Murphy from Lockport, Illinois. And you're, father. And you're the father, okay? Look at this T-shirt. Jodine Murphy from Lockport, mother. And she's wearing red. Dave Grzedich from Crest, Illinois, the father. And you're uh, related I'm, to? I'm related to. To? I'm related to the Murphys. Oh, okay, fine. And that's a triple... Uh, this is the triple X. I'm in a big boy size. All right, fine, thank you. And you are? Roxy and Grzedich from Crest Hill, Illinois, and I'm the mother. And you're married to that big guy? I'm married to the big guy. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> and you are? Mark Grzedich from uh, Crest Hill. And Dan. you must be her brother? No, I'm the big guy's cousin. Oh, okay, fine. All right. And you are? Jane Grzedich. And you're married Crest to him? Hill. Yep. All right, terrific. And you are? Uh, Darren Grzedich from Crest Hill. Okay, very good. Uh, Michael Lionel and Darren's cousin. You're, you're who? Darren's cousin. Oh, Darren's cousin. Okay, fine. Jessica Gazzetti, she's my daughter. Oh, terrific. And you are, are you watching these t-shirts or not? And look, even the shorts, too. What's your name, honey? Jamie Gazzetti, I'm her sister. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, this here's a new Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Brian Murphy's son. Okay, get Brian. Nice to see you. I'm Brian or Kevin. Kevin. Brian or Kevin. He's not sure who he is, but it's <laughs> nice to have you here. And finally, this guy with Goofy's teeth hanging down right here. What is your name? Mm -hmm. All right, good, Stevie. Thank you all very, very much. I'm Joey DeVita from Massillon, Jersey. All right, great. There's a whole family, three families down here from Illinois. Thank you all very, very much for being so great on the sidelines. Joan and Alan, the Grand Marshals are on the way, so let's go back to the parade and meet Mr. and Mr. Easter Bunny right now. And there they are, the Grand Marshals, the stars of the day. Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. Now, he doesn't look the least bit tired after hiding all those eggs this morning. <laughs> well, the famous, <laughs> the famous rabbits are riding, I should say, in a royal yes. blue Landau coach, pulled by two white Shetland ponies. The famous Easter ponies. Oh, the fair maidens strolling down the street are the Azalea Trail Maids from Mobile, Alabama. Their escorts are officers of the Orlando Naval Training Center Medical and Dental Corps. And the girls are dressed in antebellum finery. I'm told that's the Civil War period. Each gown took over 50 yards of organdy and taffeta and up to 200 yards of lace and ribbon to make. Of course, the guys in the dental corps used almost no color in their uniforms. But they carry dental but, floss, no. <laughs> they look good, yes. So they're, they're trained to brush after every parade. They look smart. 
You'll notice that there are five different colors used with the Azalea Girls. There is lavender and peach and green and yellow and blue, but the sixth color, pink, is saved for the Azalea Queen. And look at that. That's really beautiful. All those colors together make a trail mix. <laughs> These trail maids are all high school seniors, as sponsored by the Mobile JCs, the official hostesses and goodwill ambassadors for Mobile and the state of Alabama. You know, Joan, this is the 13th time these Southern lasses have appeared in the Easter Parade. <laughs> Look who's behind there. The Future World Brass Band. They're playing the theme song, Easter Parade. This has been a house band here since Walt Disney World opened 16 years ago. They make their home over at Epcot Center. I'm told that over 7,000 guest bands have performed here at Disney World. Have we mentioned that uh, Disney World has never closed since the day it was first opened? Which was back in 1971. Folks are having a good time? Oh, you bet. How can they miss? What a great place to be. <laughs> Hold on to your ears because the big cheese himself will be here very soon. You know, Mickey is going to be the center of attention when we celebrate 60 magical years with that marvelous mouse. <laughs> and right now, everyone here at Walt Disney World is getting ready for the biggest surprise party in the world. And you can be a part of it, too, every day starting this summer at the brand new Mickey's Birthday Land. Mickey's Birthday Land is a brand new enchanted land in the Magic yeah. Kingdom where kids and mom and dad can go to see where the Mick lives. Up and close and personal. let's take a quick look at 61 wonderful years and then it's off to Mickey's birthday land for a sneak peek at all the fun and surprises this summer. You're invited. Ah, the whole world wants to wish you happy birthday Mickey Mouse. Everybody wants to toast you with a song. Mickey, and right now everyone is getting set to celebrate those 60 fabulous years with the biggest, best birthday party in the world. There'll be lots of excitement, all new shows, and what would a birthday party be without presents? Let's join the gang as they head on over to Mickey's Birthday Land. All aboard for Mickey's Birthday Land. Come on, everybody! Now leaving for Mickey's surprise birthday party. Getting there is part of the fun, as Mickey's special birthday train takes you to a whole new land in the Magic Kingdom, Mickey's Birthday Land, where you'll be a guest at Mickey's surprise birthday party. You'll see Mickey's petting farm. Have your picture taken with Mickey Mouse. Even get to see Mickey Mouse's very own house and say hello to Mickey. Hey, look, Pino, it's Mickey's Birthday Land. Hi, Jiminy, we're almost there. Uh -oh. Sorry, guys. It's okay, Goofy. You're just in time to help us get ready for Mickey's surprise birthday party in Mickey's birthday land. Just in time. <laughs> okay. Come on, everybody. We'll have everything ready by summer in no time. <laughs> the whole world wants to wish you happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Everybody wants to sing. and his girlfriend. 
friend Minnie. And for someone who's going to be 60 years old soon, you certainly can't tell by looking at him. Well, mice <laughs> age well, don't they? Absolutely. And he's kind of the Dick Clark of mice, anyway. <laughs> In 1942, there was an animated short called Mickey's Birthday Party. Both Mickey and Walt Disney have to be very proud of all the joy and goodwill they brought people all over the world over the years. I bet there's not a single country that doesn't know who Mickey Mouse is. Brings a smile to everyone's face. Mickey's come a long way from his debut in Steamboat Willie. And that's the way to end the parade right there. Look at yeah. that. Beautiful ending uh, to a wonderful Easter parade. You bet. It? Had a good time, huh? I sure did. And it's, uh, you know, seeing Mickey here in person is, is fun. I remember, as you must, the beginning of the Mickey Mouse Club back in 1955. Oh, absolutely. Always watched it. And also today we got to see Norway, which is opening up in June, Illuminations, which goes on every night, and the movie Magic, big Disney MGM Studios opening here. And, of course, the Easter Parade, which <laughs> will be produced here along with the, uh, the Christmas Parade. And it's not over yet. This year we went all over Walt Disney World Resort and got guests to sing along in your Easter bonnet. You can sing along. time right here on Main Street, USA. So happy Easter from everyone here at the Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. Happy Easter, happy Easter everybody. Happy Easter, everyone. The Walt Disney World Happy Easter Parade. Brought to you by the Cassini St. Cloud Resort Area. With thousands of hotel rooms and campsites, it's the best place to stay when you're visiting Central Florida. And Premier Cruise Lines, the official cruise lines of Walt Disney World, bringing you the cruise and Walt Disney World Week. Air transportation provided by Delta Airlines, the official airline of the Walt Disney World Resort. Delta loves to fly, and it shows. the Walt Disney World family to yours. This is Dick Tubeld wishing you a happy Easter.